Now something I'm far more familiar with, a bar. Specifically, the little beer quarter, which looks to me to be just my cup of beer. Girls that run, own, and manage this place specialize in craft beers and in creating the perfect environment for those creatures called craft beer drinkers. It's a pretty awesome place, huh? Full Monty experience here. This is this this is all very well paired it seems. What have we got here? So um Talman's platter, quite a traditional um, English style, um, goes really well with the hops and the beer, mm -hmm. the beers. Um, pork scratchings, homemade. They local, look amazing. Local pork. I'm yeah. gonna have one. I can't hold back. Oh, this is awesome for someone who loves beer. Because this is this is what you sort of imagine and you'd have at home. Well, it has to be with beer, especially craft beers. Beer, the alcohol percentage is quite high. You need something quite substantial to to carry you through. Now, you are one part of the equation that makes up the little beer yeah. quarter. There's um there's four of us, um, four girls, four friends. Um, we met in a beer bar. It was one of the originals in Wellington. It was the Malt House. It's got quite a um, his, historical um, place in Wellington. It was one of the first free houses, mm -hmm. so they could choose the beers they went there. And so we were um, young, and um, that was our first stomping ground. I uh, learned to appreciate beer, learned, learned that everyone has a different um, different take on it. You know, some people like a sessionable beer, some people like a strong beer. The craft beer community, it's, it's really about appreciating the flavour rather than um, Nicking a pint, mm. so the food helps in that sort of appreciation. And that's very much the environment you have here. It is a lot. You cater a lot for people who do love beer and want to come to a place, and not have crazy dance music, and they want to come and just enjoy a great beer with their friends. Have some so, um, awesome snacks. New Zealand, the, the history of New Zealand's wine drinking community has been like that for years and years. Um, you appreciate it, you, you know, you, you match it with food, it's to be enjoyed with friends that are like-minded. Um, it's great, it's great to be able to have that, that, that range. Mm. You've got the international lineup, Yeah. but there's a lot of local stuff. Oh definitely, I would say predominantly New Zealand beers. There's so many amazing beers um, that have been made in New Zealand. Um, obviously some of the styles, uh, you know, they're from Europe or they're from America. Um, you know, Germany's had a big influence on beer styles. But we've got the talent here, we've got the ingredients um, around Nelson Glennon. There's an amazing hop industry going on. So you develop this passion for craft beer, and Wellington's an amazing place to, to sort of embrace that. And you guys have, actually have events for the people who are super passionate, the beer geeks. You have events in here where people can meet the brewers themselves, even. And the brewers are passionate, they're keen, they want to talk about what they love and know how to do. They, um, you know, they're farmers, they're farmers of beer, like that's, they get up early every morning, that's their life. They, you know, some of them, they're, they're such hard working characters and they, it's what they love and to pass it on to a group of people that love their product, it's quite an amazing thing to watch. Um, and it's education, like it's, it's a simple product to make, but it, they are so different from each other. Yeah. And there's so much history around it. Absolutely. Well, I really feel like this is the start of a journey for me this evening. I'm going to do my best to discover as much as possible, which seems pretty easy to do. So hey, cheers. cheers. Thank you for enlightening me. 
and I will keep it's discovering. Yeah, it's a beer. Mm. And pork scratchings. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to attempt to fit this leaning tower of beef in my mouth. I think it's a rings off, rings off sort of job. Looks down. And I'm one of these um, upside down burger eaters. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I really like the. You don't mind if I eat it upside oh, down? No, no. I wouldn't want to change a habit of a life. Strategic like bite, here we go. Mmm, that's good. Actually, the upside down thing is good because you don't need one of those duper things. It makes your bite even all the way through. Good trick. Thank <laughs> you.